if you haven't written your congressional yet, I need you to add the following verbiage to the NAACP's already pre-written letter. If you have already filed your congressional and you kept NAACP's words exactly the same, I need you to go back and file a second congressional. We need to have our congressmen pass the bill HR 7085 to end the Qualified Immunity Act for police officers or security guards that use excessive force or kill us. Also, they must amend the Civil Rights Act of 1871 to get true justice and equality for all. Number one. End qualified immunity. It protects cops from lawsuits and holds them to a different set of standards than the rest of us. There's a bill in Congress right now. Make sure it gets traction. Harass your member of Congress. Call the landline. If you can make bots for a Jordan drop, make bots that will call your member of Congress. Next, demilitarize the police. We saw this two months ago. Doctors are waddling around in garbage bags, but now our cops are LARPing like Master Chief and Halo? No. Three, vote out corrupt local officials. Between prosecutors, DAs, and the cops is the reason that police officers never serve time. You have to Google when the election is, vote locally, and get new officials into the system. That's on all of us. We have to donate our money and time to black organizations, to all the doctors, offer free health care to protesters, tech people, help black businesses get online. You work in IT, set up a router. You pass the bar, good. Ami and Abu are proud. Work pro bono for protesters. Pfizer doesn't need any more billables. Everything helps. Be like Rahul. He let protesters hide from police in his home. You don't even need a degree to do this. You just need a Sharpie. Millions of people around the world have taken to the street to afford us this moment. Set the precedent so the next time a cop has his knee on a black man's neck, he will see it for what it is. Murder.